Gracious Word Presented by Church of Christ Greetings to you all, the Voice of Truth International readers and viewers and welcoming you for a short Bible study. We are going to study regularly what a Christian believes and why a Christian believes. It's a series of lessons we are going to study. Today, let's begin with why we believe in God. Some people, they deny there is no God. And many people believe more than one God. And few people believe there is only one God. So what is the faith of a Christian? A Christian believes there is one God, one true and living God is the creator of all things, is all-powerful, all-knowing, all-seeing. They believe He is eternal, He is spirit, He is everywhere. You have all the right to question our faith. It's our bound duty to give you the answer and the reason from the word of God. I would like to share with you a few points. Point number one. First, we believe in God because it is logical to believe. To believe He exists and He is the creator of all things. Genesis 1.1 In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Second point, we believe in the God of heaven, the creator of all things, because of intelligent life being upon the earth. He has the ability to learn built upon the knowledge. That means that an intelligent creator is responsible. Genesis 1, 28 And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and the fowl of the earth, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Point number three, we believe that God is the creator of man because man is dual being, physical being and a spiritual being. Genesis 1.27 God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. The fourth point, we believe in God because of the unity of his creation. The seasons, climate, planet life, sea life, and even human life all live side by side on the planet Earth and each complements the other. Psalms 19, 1 through 5. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handy work. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth and their works to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiced as a strong man to run a race. Fifth point, we believe in the existence of God because the Bible teaches this, and the Bible is declared to be the word of God. In Isaiah 9.6, it says he is the everlasting father. In James 1.13, he cannot be tempted. In Romans 2.11, God is no respecter of person. Sixth point, we believe in God because he is said to be one. Ephesians 4.6 one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. 
So thank you so much for your patience in listening. God willing, in the next lesson, in the same day, at the same time, we are going to study about why we believe in Christ. Thank you. God bless you. We greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome you all to this gracious word program. May the grace of God and peace of Christ be with you all. And today's Bible study will be from the scripture Genesis chapter 6 verse 8 and 9. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. This is the genealogy of Noah. Noah was a just man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God. Dear friends, in Genesis chapter 6, we read that the wickedness of man was great. In contradiction with what God wanted from man, his wickedness was great. It was so bad that his every thought was wicked all the day. So, at a point of time, even God, we can see that he felt sorry for creating human beings. Such was the wickedness of the world. But God saw one man as a different one, with a different attitude, different behavior. It was Noah and he found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Yes, my dear friends, today's study from the scripture is about Noah, a man with the attitude or with the uh, character as described in the Bible in this verse. He was a just man. He was perfect or blameless in his generations and he walked with God. We are going to see or meditate these three points. Noah was a just man. Noah was a perfect or blameless man in his generation and he walked with God. And because of such an attitude, we can find from the scripture that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. We too can found grace in the eyes of the Lord. If we are changing our character and attitude and behavior as Noah was. So today we are going to uh, see some scriptures regarding these characters, three characters of Noah, a just man, a perfect and blameless man and he walked with God. The first one, Noah was a just man. Yes, the Bible tells us that we need to be a just man. In Acts chapter 10 verse 22, we see a man named Cornelius and the Bible verse tells like this, and they said, Cornelius the centurion, a just man, one who fears God and has a good reputation among all the nation of the Jews, was divinely instructed by a holy angel to summon you to his house and to hear words from you. Throughout the Bible, we can see many characters like Noah who found grace in the eyes of the Lord because they were just people. Here, the centurion, he was not a Christian, but he was a just man. He was having a thirst for the word of God. He, he, he wanted to find the way of the Lord. So, the Lord came down to help him and made his salvation possible. The next verse will be Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith, but if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Yes, my beloved friends, here we can see that the just shall live by faith. And the Lord has pleasure in those who are just people. The second one is, Noah was a perfect and a blameless man in his generation. He was a perfect and blameless man in his generation. Philippians chapter 2 verse 15 says like this, that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without fall in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as lights in the world. We have to be blameless and perfect people when this generation in which we are living, when this is crooked, and when this generation is making harm to other people, we have to be perfect and blameless people as Noah was. Because Noah and his family were only saved by the flood. But 
all the people were crooked harmful people they lived as they liked and today we have to be like nova when this generation is becoming so worse and doing all such kinds of evil things we have to be like nova we have to be blameless and perfect people how we can be like that we have to obey to the word of god and we can be perfect and blameless people Second Peter chapter three verse twelve to fourteen says like this: Looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and new earth, in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by Him in peace. without spot and blameless yes my beloved people taking into account the verse 14 says like this therefore beloved looking forward to these things be diligent to be found by him in peace without spot and blameless who can enter heaven people with spots and people who have sins cannot enter heaven so we have to be perfect we have to be without any spot or sins and we have to be blameless we have to remember that every day and we have to uh, follow jesus and be like him to enter heaven the third thing we would like to discuss from this verse is noah walk with god yes first john chapter 1 verse 7 says like this but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of jesus christ his son cleanses us from all sin enoch walked with god noah walked with god so can you imagine what was the relationship between them how intimate was the relationship between them so we ought to have such a relationship with our god we have to walk with god daily through prayer through bible reading through obeying the word of god to uh, submitting ourselves to the will of god we have to walk with god daily finally a verse for consideration third john verse 3 and 4 for i rejoiced greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you just as you walk in the truth i have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth So even when John a worker of uh, uh, our lord jesus christ he feels happy when his people to whom he has shared the word of god when they are walking in light he feels much happy so can we consider how much ha- happy will be our god when we as the children of god are walking in light walking with god yes my dear friends the bible encourages us to be like noah walking with god lead a perfect and blameless life and be a just man and then we can find grace in the eyes of the lord may the grace of god be with you all amen be blessed by studying the word of god to receive the voice of truth international magazine and to study the bible systematically through our english bible correspondent course kindly write to us our address gracious word po box 15 arsradi madurai 625016 tamil nadu For more details dial 9244204420 9244214421 God bless you The Church of Christ salutes you Joy Creative Production For video coverage and editing audio recording and editing promo for advertisement graphic design contact 904249 4996